Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fuzzball 40. If you are new around here, click subscribe down below, like the video and put a comment down below. Just say what trading methods you're using currently. Do not forget on sat uh, Saturday, it'll be the £15 giveaway video. Make sure you're there for that. You must be subscribed to win. Um, but yeah, this video is in response to Team of the Year. So basically, during Team of the Year, I had people come in to stream. People come onto my videos being like, oh my god, your coin total is really growing up. And it's a great massive. And I made about 1.2 million over Team of the Year. Now, I want to tell you guys... How best to trade from basically, we'll, we'll, we'll say, I uh, really think this is probably from a thousand coins upwards to get a million. And I'm telling you now that during any promo, within a week, two weeks, you can make a million coins on this game if you're trading hard and you're working hard at it. So I want to get into sort of how you start off and how you move forward, and how you keep growing and, and keep making coins, okay? First thing, I always tell everyone when you're new to trading, learn the silver card market. If you haven't done that yet, when, once you, this video is done, Go and watch my videos that I've got. They're sort of sniping filter videos, really, they're just flipping filters, how you flip cards. Go and watch those videos. They will make you bank, 100%. Now, I've seen people do silver card trading before. No one does it as good as I do. Full stop, capital letter. I guarantee you, today is Thursday. You'll be seeing this on Thursday evening now at 5.30. I guarantee you, if you use this method tonight, 6 o'clock to about 9 o'clock, and you put in, say, 500,000 coins, for example. I'm not saying you've got 500,000, but let's say you put in 500,000 coins. You could probably get double that back. It's no exaggeration. Everyone does it on stream. If you're new, come and click on the stream down below and come and watch. Like, it's a no-brainer. I can't stress that enough. I've just turned this volume down. But, essentially, a silver card method is what I tell you guys all, all the time. What you want to be doing is trading with silver cards um, that are needed for League SBCs. Now, I'm going to run through quickly for you the best clubs from each league to, to do this with. Um, and they are Sh and Premier League, Sheffield United, Norwich, and Aston Villa, okay? They have all got loads of silver cards. If you haven't seen my videos yet, go and watch them. You'll, you'll be able to see them. They, they're the best ones for the Premier League. Championship, really good, is Birmingham for their strikers, specifically. Uh, Fulham. And Leeds. I really like Leeds as well. Leeds are really good. And Sheffield uh, Wednesday, uh, centre-backs are good as well. So that's the uh, championship. Uh, League One, I showed you yesterday in the video. If you missed it, but I'll go over it again. Mets was really good. Um, we had Stab Brassois, really good. Stab Derema, really good. Um, and Angers and Abien, you can make coins out of them, okay? Syria, Brescia, really, really good. I always tell you guys this one. Hellas Verona, really, really good. Goalkeeper, centre back for them. Uh, and Palmer, really good. Bundesliga, Dusseldorf, Paderborn, and Union Berlin are the best ones for them. Realistically, they're the ones you'll make the big, big, uh, big bank out of. And then sort of dotted around, La Liga Santander has just been released. There'll be a video on that coming up. Um, they are very good for Granada, Osasuna, Valladolid. They'll be the best ones. And Mallorca. But what you want to be doing, I've told you this before, is going onto the market. And you have, you have three ways I told you to trade with silvers. So Syria, let's go Brescia, for example. And we'll go Defender. They're really high at the moment. Really, really high at the moment. Look at this. What you want to be doing is, instead of 7,000 here, you want to look and buy them at 6,000, relist them back up for 6, 9, 7,000, you'll sell them and make a 1,000 coins profit a card. You want to be doing that. There are so many filters I've got on my videos that I've literally given you guys about 300 different filters now for you guys to use. You want to flip them like that. You can also go and mass bid on them. So if you know they're 77,000, go to Defenders and just see if there's any you can mass bid on. So for example, this guy here, I'll bid at 6,000. I probably won't get him. Someone else will bid me up on him. But you can bid on him and go through. Just keep doing that. These guys here, we'll bid on him. We'll bid on him, okay? Um, so you can mass bid on them. And then you just try and get for 6,000 so, so flip them on again. It's massive profit. It's huge profit. So that's the two first methods. The other method is the most important method you do with silver cards. And no one talks about it and it winds me up. Everyone knows about Thursday flipping. When you buy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday gold cards, sell Thursday, Friday for, for profit for, um, for, the, for, the, for the weekend league. Our version of Thursday flipping, on a, on, a, on a Thursday evening, marquee matchups gets released. And every single marquee matchups, there is silver supply goes into the market and silver prices crash. And it's not exaggeration to say they crash, they crash. They get as low down, those defenders that you see 7k right now will get as low as one to 2,000 coins probably tonight. So you're going to go and buy them for 2k, you wait to rise and send for 6k. I make at least half a million coins a week doing that method. It's so easy. And I guarantee you, if you're looking to trade from 1,000 coins to 1 million coins, this is the best way to start. All day long, every single time. Start here. And if you're not sure what you're doing, come and watch me on stream. Join the Discord we've got. I guarantee you it will make you big profit. Everyone that's come over, we're, we're one of the fastest growing YouTube channels now. 
for our size because people are, are realizing just how effective this method is and make so many coins. But by itself, it's not the only effective method you could be using realistically. Let me just get rid of something on there. Next thing to think about is, okay, so you traded up. I'd say trade that. I mean, keep trading them no matter what happens, especially the Thursday flipping thing. Even if you've got 3 million coins in your bank, if you go and invest 500,000 of those coins and turn that into 7, 8, 900,000 coins just overnight for by letting them sit in your account, why not? It's always an effective method. But if you're thinking now, what method do I move on to? I'd say go to three, four, five 500,000 coins doing just that method um, and growing it up. I, I, I promise you now you can do that in a week or two. Uh, but yeah, other, other style. Next thing you've got to think about is there's two styles here that I like. This one is special card trading and it's again, it's V273. I've seen people on YouTube tell you guys this method and I'm telling you now, it's V273's method. Anyone that's claiming it as their own is a liar. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna bullshit here. They are a liar, full stop capital letter. This, is, this, is, this has been his method for as long as I've known him, for as long as anyone's known him. Um, he, he streams over on Twitch. Again, I'll, link his link, uh, I'll leave the link down below. But you wanna trade with Hunters and Shadows and the reason why we trade with Hunters and Shadows is it's easier to get to the end and they're more sought after and rarer. So. 10,000, you can even go up to as high as 15,000 here if you want to. Um, on Xbox, I suggest go to 15 because it's a bit quieter than PS4. PS4, you can probably do 13. And you search for 15,000, so 10, 10 to 50, 13,000, 15, uh, 15,000, right? And now with Hunters and Shadows, they're worth more because those, those chemistry styles cost more money. So it's a solid way to trade. And what you want to do is just check and search and see if anything's there. You can look at, so you compare price on this, on this Vitzel, for example. And just work out what he's selling for. I think he's probably not that good, not that good to deal realistically. 15,000 is probably meh. And then what you do is you then go to Shadow. And just flick it down. Just refresh it. In the same way you would do if you were sniping. And then you just go across and keep going. And you just check prices. So just compare the price of Takore, for example, initially. And again, another really good method to be doing here. Get footprint up, just type in Ducore. And if the price, again, this is advice I was given by V, which is much, much appreciated. If the price is even one or two K, you're probably onto a winner. Um, sometimes you'll make a mistake, because I've done plenty of times, I've made mistakes. Um, but you can make profit without doubt, it's easy to make profit. Just check when Ducore comes up, and surprise comes up. For some reason, 43 is what is normally is normal prices realistically. Do I think that that's a good deal at 47? Probably not, realistically. And you just do it again. And you reflip it again, you go Hunter, and search again, and just see what comes up. And now we are in rewards at the moment, so there are cards constantly being list listed up. People are putting new stuff onto market. Really good time to do this is when there's good, good, uh, on the mar a good sort of supply on the market, so UK time, sort of betw between 3 and 9, I think it's a really good time, PM that is, um, that's when I do it. Again, we just check again for shadows and just see if anything comes on. And you just keep doing that and cycling through. Add it to transfer targets if you're not sure. Check the prices and go. Use footprint. It's really, really good. As an example, I'll show you now. I've got one that's just sold. So this Bernard, I paid 86 for yesterday, I think. Some for 95. So we're looking at 4,000, 5,000 coin profit. Again, if you can be doing that 10, 11, 12, 13 times a day, you're making good profit. There are times where I picked up McGinn's. 84 McGinn's at discard price. Pretty, pretty much with shadows on him. Sold for 22, 23, 24k, made 10k a card. It's not difficult at all. So that's really, really good. That's a really good method. I promise you it will make you bank. Next thing to think about is, okay, you can do that with special cards. So evidently you can do gold cards. And this is chemistry style trading. Everyone does this. Everyone knows it's really, really good. But the way that I do it, again, like, it's about learning the market. I start off with like Timo Werner, for example. He's a really good one to start with. I'll check what he's selling for without, uh, without chem style on him. He's really low at the moment, to be fair. So Timo Werner is selling for very little. And it's, 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 this is the most important thing. Do not start doing this with high rated cards until you start doing lower rated cards. So 2,800 is what he sells for as standard. You then want to go to Hunter, find out what he sells for with a Hunter. So with a Hunter, he's selling for about 4-2. Four, four so I'll add in transfer targets. And I'll see if he sells for that. And then I know for the rest of the day, he's been selling for about 4-5. I can go and buy them below that and make profit on them. And you just keep doing that. Another good one to start doing it with, Felipe Anderson. I say this to you guys all the time. These are the guys that you want to be thinking about initially. Yeah, I bet he's getting it's nearly as high as Discord. 8,000 coins there for Philippe Henderson. Hunter on him. We're going to buy that one because Narva's on the market. And I know for, for he sells about 9.5k into Weekend League. So we're going to go and pick him up. 
and listen for 9.5k. He will sell for 9.5k, guaranteed. He always does. Um, and that's chemistry style trading. And as you get better at it and good at it, you can start picking up and start thinking, okay, cool. Let me start looking at Mertens. Let me start looking at like the 30, 40,000 cards. Let me start looking at the 100,000 cards and keep building it up bit by bit. Again, so realistically, silver cards exclusively, in my opinion, to about 250, 300k. Silver cards there. Then you go, okay, cool. From 300k, I'm going to add to keep doing the silver card method because that's what I method I now know, like the back of my hands. Back of my hands. You go, boom, I've got that now. Now what I'm going to move on to, I'm going to move on to the chemistry style training with special cards and with gold cards. Because again, that can make you, you're adding it. You're not just going like, now I'm going to move on to this. I watched one early one. It was like, oh, do this, then do this, then do this. No, 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 no. Boom. Add them all together. Keep doing them all. So you've added now that to it. You've added now that to it. That's perfect. That's all good. Now you've got to start thinking, right, I'm a big budget now. I'm at 600, 700k. Where's the best bang for my buck? And that's in icons. It's going to be in icons and stuff like that. Realistically, they're going to be the positions that you're going to be making money out. Icons can make you a lot of coins. You can also lose a lot of coins. Rules for icons. Do not try and trade with all of them. You will fail. Do not try and trade with cards that no one cares about, realistically, unless you're trading at a low, low end. If you're trading in a low, low end, like Layman's, uh, Shemichael's, Inzaghi's, Pires, perhaps, but I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't even go with Pires' uh, cam card. If you go with the low end, or trade with relatively meta cards. So the guys that I'm going to tell you now that I like the look of, I always like the look of trading with, are... Why has it gone to that? Are... Mer uh, not Mertens, what I'm talking about. Nedved, Overmars, both of them, five-star week for everyone. Everyone loves them, realistically. Socrates, people like. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of his this year, but people like him. Um, who else? Who else do I try to think of? I, was, I don't know. Blanc. Blanc's a very good one to trade with. Carlos Alberto, very good one to trade with. And initially, you want to learn their price. Now, I know there's an Overmars, because I still do it every morning. I check their prices. Overmars at 375 on the market right now, so I'm watching him. You can see, look, look at before we even got the video, I'm watching him to find out what he, if he sells to that. One for 370 here. I'm going to add him to transfer targets, and I'm going to learn their prices. I'm going to learn what they sell for. So this is weekend league. People buying up for weekend league. Like last week, he was selling for 400k. So now I'm like, is he still selling for 400k today and tomorrow? I'm going to check that. I'm going to find out. And as time goes on, you'll start to build up a thing in your mind, and you'll be able to click onto Overmars and see one for 320 and go, bang, that's a good deal. Let me buy it. And that's how I trade with icons. I learn. My icons that I like trading with, and I don't get above my station and beyond that. And I think, okay, cool. What am I going to do to make coins with this Overmars? Right, the best time I'm going to sell him is going to be into Weekend League. Or it's going to be Monday night, because for some reason, Overmars sell more for that time. Trust me, there are lots of different variances here. Learn the icon market, but don't try to learn all of them. So that gets you up from 600 to a million, realistically. But there are more methods that you can add to all this at the same time. So in my opinion, start with this, just the silvers. It's just low, it's, not, it's no risk. It's not even low risk, it's no risk. Start with silver, so 250, 300 in my opinion. That's where you want to be. Chemistry style special card trading can come at about 300k when you're starting to risk a bit more coins. In fact, chemistry style, you could probably do a bit earlier, but I, I would just get, I would focus on one method while you're learning the market and how the market fluctuates is what I would do. Once you've done all these cards here, now something that I've only started doing re recently that I really love doing now is link investing. And I'll go to Foot Central and I'll show you what I mean by link investing. Now, two things you got to be mindful of. It's not always guaranteed. But you see this Sane here, for example. I picked him up for 53k yesterday. Why did I pick him up for 53k yesterday? The reason I picked him up for 53k yesterday is Aguero is getting a very, very good record breaker card. And people are going to pack that record breaker card. And it's going to make people coins and, and whatever. And people are going to use it. So you're going to need to link him somehow. Now, you can link him using Bernardo Silva, which the SBC has disappeared. But Leroy Sane is a very good meta card that is linkable to, to him. What am I doing? Wrong way. He's linkable to Aguero. And I checked this morning, it was at like 58k, I think. Even higher. So now if I sell that, if I sell my sign, which I'm not going to do yet because I know he's going to climb even more. If I sell my sign for 59k right now, I've made myself give or take 3,000 coins profit, okay? For link investing my, my Leroy, Leroy Sane. Now, they're only going to go up in value, realistically, as time progresses. As time goes on, they will go up in value because people are going to need more. I'd say tomorrow... Or later tonight will be my high. As long as it hits 60, I'll probably sell. I've bought. I've got one there. I've got one in my club. And I've got two on transfer power, I think. So I, I, from, from a 200,000 coin spend, I'm going to have made 20,000. I've got 10% of my coins back, which I'm happy with. That's fine. No problem. I could have bought more. But link investing is so, so powerful. It's so, so powerful. And you've got to look at things coming up. So headliners, for example, we'll almost certainly get Lewandowski. And now, it's, uh, this is on my head if you guys have decide to do this, but it's also on your head. If we get Lewandowski... You're going to think about people that are going to link to him. Nabry, his inform could go up in price. His normal car could go up in price. Goretzka, Tolisso, people are going to need to fight. He's, he's Polish. He's probably going to need, realistically, the Bundesliga links, but most likely, Bayern Munich links. 
Now that Pocard will be able to power as anything, people are going to want to trade with him. So I think about the Lewandowski and Link invest on him. And that's something that I, I would start doing. Once I've got the silver card method down and ready to go, I start thinking, okay, cool, Link investing. But once you've hit a million coins, you could put half a million into, into a Leroy Sane. Now, if you put half a million into a Leroy Sane, for example, and you make 5,000 coins a card and you paid, let's say 50K, because you could have bought, I could have sniped for 50K, but I couldn't be bothered realistically. Ten, but you make, make 5K profit a card realistically and you bought 10 Leroy Sanes, you've made 50K in your sleep. But this Sane can go up even more in value. I'm saying 5k profit a card because that's when I'm happy with the profit. But I've seen it happen. For example, a guy that I watched again, V273, I did it. He traded with around, made a million coins in a week by putting essentially 10 million into it. So you want to be looking to make as much as you can with this link investing, but it is so, so powerful. Especially on a Wednesday when you see the team of the week coming and you know what players are going to be in there. People don't think link investing. People think, okay, the other method that I'm going to tell you about now, which is team of the week investing. So now I went yesterday, went out and I invested... And I've only been start, I, only, I do this about four, about three, four hundred thousand coins again. I went out yesterday and I bought loads of players that are going to be a team of the week. For example, Danny Ings. Um, he's down a little bit at the moment. He will climb. At the, long, the longer that out packs, the more they go up. And I've seen it happen. Well, I, but earlier in the year, I bought one Jesus, right? He was in um, the UEL card he got. And I went up and bought loads of him for 800 coins. And he ended up at two and a half thousand coins a card. Because he was out of packs. The longer that they're out of packs for, the more valuable they get. And think about it. This week... People are going to want to do packs, and they're going to use League SPC to do packs, because they um they want to open packs for headliners. Now, I paid 1,900 for my Danny Ings. He's at 2,600 now. It's 700 coins profit per card, and I've got 20 of them sat in my tra trade pile. And these are things that you can just be adding to it. I don't like this method of you do one method, then one method, then one method. Bull. Start with the silvers. Then move on to chem style trading. So you start learning how chemistry styles affect the, the market 100%. Once you've, once you've done chemistry style trading in terms of specials and golds, I didn't also add team of the week trading into it. It's easy. It's, really, it's relatively easy. You can just throw these guys, pick, spend 50k, pick them up, double your coins into 100k. And it's not it's not an exaggeration to say you'll double them. You will double your coins. Once you've, once you've got team of the week cards and you've got that sorted out, then go, okay, cool. Let me start going to the higher end of the market now. High end special cards, icon cards, and link investing. Link investing co costs a lot of money. To make big, big coins of it, you've got to be spending that 500, 1 million coins, but you can make big bank. Nabi, for example, right now, is sat on, it's going to be relatively inflated because of Weekend League and people are going to be buying them. Don't know what I thought he was going to go for that. Nabby sat at 6-7. I'm probably going to go out and buy 10 of these, 15 of these, maybe even more. Try and get with a hunter, makes them even more valuable. Because I'm going to try and sit on them and just see if Lewandowski comes out, if they rise. And if they do rise, then brilliant. If they don't rise, it's not in the world. I'm going to buy one now, just so you know that. Actually, I'm going to buy them. Um... If they do rise, they're brilliant. If they don't rise, they don't rise. Really, it's not in the world. They're, they're, they're at the price right now that I can sell them for tomorrow. If they don't, because we, we can they still be selling. Um, but that is realistically how you got to do it. To sum up the video, lads, silver card trading, 100%. Start with silver card trading. People will always do league SPCs for players and packs. Start there. Special card trading, gold card trading with chem styles is your next move. Get that nailed down. Team of the week, add that to it as you've gone. So as you've done the special card trading and whatnot, then add the team of the week to that. So you've got four methods you could be using to utilise as much bank, bank as you can. Then I'd start learning the icon market. It's a much different market to everything else. Learn the prices, learn the fluctuations, learn when they sell, what they sell. Pick five icons, trade with them. All icons will sell. If you're new to it, start at the lower end, move to the mid end, move to the high end afterwards. Add to that, link investing. Use big bank for link, link investing. Once you're at 800, 900,000, spam loads of into link investing. You will make coins so long as you buy them cheap. Look at footprints for graphs. That is how you trade from 1 million to from 1,000 1, coins. You can start at 1,000 to 1 million. And let me make this clear to you now. When you see this video next week, this time next week, you'll see a million on my account. You will see it without, without fail. You'll see me have gone from 300,000 to 1 million doing it in one week just by doing these methods that I'm teaching you now. I guarantee you. You'll see it on my account. And then when you see it on my account, you'll be like, ah, oh, he actually did it. He didn't just tell me, sit with coins this account, this is how you do it. I'm actually doing these methods that I'm teaching you guys myself. But that's going to be the end of the video. It's a longer video, but it's an important video. It's how you make 1 million coins on FIFA. You will do it. If you're new around here, click subscribe down below. Comment on the video and like the video. It would be much appreciated, guys. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. Speak to you soon.